All right, so I died. Here on the crab coast, I came with Patty to look for an old temple, which allegedly has some sort of super duper treasure. But in the process, we woke up some sort of demon who sucked the life right out of me. And Patty buried me and left me for dead. So three weeks later, this lunatic bones revived me or resurrected me somehow with some sort of weird magic. And here I am on the crab coast with him and his raft. Oh, that one over there. And what I'm trying to do is figure out a way to meet up with Patty, see what happened with her. And also, perhaps we can find a magician who can cure me or some such. Allegedly, my soul is back, or not back, but in the underworld, which is where souls go whenever they're in sort of limbo or something. So, yeah, get my soul back, get cured, find Patty. Not sure if in that order, but there we go. Alright, so this was the old temple where I died, where I lost my soul. Um, I think last time I kind of missed to look on this small island, actually. So I'm going to take a super quick look over there and then get on this raft and see where we can go. I certainly lost all my gear, unfortunately. Yeah, bone sloop. Uh, what sort of weapon is this? A fencing foil. Yeah, not exactly the greatest one, is it? I guess Patty took a steel beer sword with her. That's unfortunate. That thing was pretty good. Well, at least I'm not butt naked, but I'm pretty close. Pretty close. Alright, so Bones is with me at the moment. Not sure if he's actually capable of fighting or anything like that. So, if I can, I probably should avoid any type of combat. Or at least, you know, serious opponents. I can probably kill some monkeys or whatnots. Gotta say, being dead sucks. And being left for dead is even worse. Although, technically, yeah, there was nothing Patty could have done about that. Yep, I can hear some growling. Okay, it's just a scavenger. Okay, Bones, are you... are you... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you going to help me or what? Right, so I'm not sure what your specialty is, Bones. Uh, but I'm hoping you can do some other tricks rather than just swing a sword. Uh, you seem to have some sort of interesting looking sword there. Not sure what that is. <coughs> Whoa! Why? Yeah, that hurt a lot. Whoa! Bones, I think he just healed me there. Whoa! He's actually better at fighting than I am. All right, big boy. Show me a little bit of teamwork here. Well, it hurt me more than hurt you. Hot damn, so you can actually heal. That's nice. You know what? I'm starting to like you a little bit. You're a clueless lunatic. Actually, I don't know if you're clueless. But you're definitely a lunatic. But if you can heal, then I think we'll be friends. A teleporting stone! Okay. Interesting. Um, uh, we'll talk later, hold on. 
Oh, right. Hardened crab shell. What is this thing? Bulletproof. Plus 10. Is this like a trophy? I believe so, right? It kind of looked like a trophy. Um, pff, toughness. Oh, yes. I did get exactly plus 10 here. Nice. Okay, then. Uh, Bones, tell me about Patty, because uh, there was an option here. Where is Patty? No longer on the Crab Coast. She sailed to Takarigua. Really? From what I gather, she's hunting the one who sold her the treasure map. Really? I guess it won't be an amicable encounter. Do you know anyone on Takarigua? Just the old lighthouse keeper, Jack. But I've no idea if he's still alive. Okay. Then Takarigua it is. I hope you're not too far away from there. Where can I find them? There are powerful sorcerers on the southern seas. Some of them are spiritual leaders of communities. But make sure you find yourself a strong one. They will help you regain your spirit. That sounds ideal. I think we'll find Patty before I, found, I find one of these leaders. The natives are powerful voodoo sorcerers. That's true. The tribe that you should find most interesting lives on the island of Kila. Strong warriors, mighty shaman, pretty powerful voodoo. I should think you'll find what you're looking for there. All right, on the island of Kila, all right. I was thinking more about the Sword Coast and the Shaganumbi tribe, or the Marakai Bay for the Marakai tribe, but Kila, that's news to me. Where are the exiled mages? As far as I know, they've settled on the Thunder Isle of Tyrannis. They're digging up the island of gnomes, searching for small magic crystals. And only the mages know what they'll be used for. I need a druid now. I heard of one on Kalador. I think the druid is called Eldrick. Yes, I've heard of He's Eldrick. He's supposed to be the spiritual leader of the demon hunters. Oh. They are extremely powerful dark warriors with their own kind of black magic. I'm sure they'd help you. What about the Inquisition? They lost their supremacy on the southern seas long ago. But the sugarcane plantation on Takarigua may still be there. I'm not sure the blue coats can help you, but who knows? I think you have enough information to find a powerful sorcerer now. You must decide where you want to go for help. Alright, so I have to choose between Kila for the voodoo magicians, Tyrannus for the mages, or Kalador for the demon hunters who are led by Eldrick. I think we'll go for the voodoo magicians first. Who are you exactly? I'm Bones. We met before, several years ago, but in the state you're in, I don't think you'll be able to remember that. I used my paltry voodoo skills to awaken your physical remains from the sleep of death. The last person I tried it on wasn't so lucky, but that's another story. I'm impressed they worked at all, and that you're now more or less alive. I am the only friend you have left in this desolate place. Well, thank fuck for that. Who sent you to find me? I'm a pirate like you. Well, at least you used to be one. You were a member of a pirate association that was once very powerful. The Council of Captains on Antigua. Admiral Alvarez has been leading the council for many years. He sent me to look for you. Wait, really? He was concerned about his protege. Ugh, I'm Alvarez, or I was Alvarez's protege. I'm not sure I'm happy about that. How did you find me? Not difficult, really. 
Every rogue on the South Seas knew that you wanted the treasure of the Crab Coast. Oh, you had better give the old sea dog a hand. Admiral Alvarez has a few problems on Antigua. The existence of the Council is at stake. All right, interesting. Huh. I thought we were being sneaky about um, visiting the Crab Coast, but apparently not. Hmm. So does that mean that Alvarez knows himself about us coming here? Because I thought we are keeping this under wraps. Yeah, okay, maybe jumping from here isn't the bestest idea. Okay, so let's make our way... Uh, I did get some sort of teleporter stone. What exactly happens to that? Oh, right. The Crab Coast. Here is where we are. That's Takarigua, right? Hmm. Can this little slope of yours make it all the way there? Or do we need to go to Antigua first? That seems closer. Ah, uh, wait. Can I just return to the ship? Okay, nice. There we go. Uh, what is that teleporter stone that I picked up? I'm not really sure. Uh, there are strange characters uh, on the stone. Looks like it belongs into a socket of some sort. Okay, I have no idea. Uh, maybe I'll figure it out later. Alright, Bones. Uh, do I talk to you or do I just... Said sail. Uh, Tanaris, right? Thunder Isle. Uh, Kila or Kalador. You know what? Let's go to Takariga first. I want to meet up with Patty, if possible. And then we'll see about getting my soul back. Okay, I just hope we don't sink in this thing. If there's a storm or something. Oh boy, this does not look very good. What are they? The reason Alvarez wants to see you. Ghost ships. I've seen something like them before, but that was a dream. No, 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 this is no dream. It's Crow. Pirate Captain Crow. That cutthroat. But he's fucking dead. He's returned from the underworld and he's boarding every ship he comes across with his cursed fleet and minions. Underworld? We've got to get away. If they find us, we're done for. Okay. I don't think we're ready to take on Crow and his minions. At least in my dreams, they seem pretty tough. Hey, that's the lighthouse. Jack's lighthouse. Chapter 2, New Allies. Alright, Bones. So, how the hell do we get to the shore from here? Oh, I guess we can take this raft there. I'm starting to get worried about you. You do? You look terrible. How about you lie down for a few hours? I'm fine. Next time I see a bed, I'll use it. <laughs> I hope so. What do we do about that crystal portal back on the Crab Coast? Crystal portals form some sort of bridge between our world and the underworld. The underworld's where our spirits go when we die. It's a different plane of existence. Those who go there rarely return. You have experience with those things? No, I just know what they'll spawn. Soulless creatures that hunt our blood. I'm not an expert. Ask a sorcerer. How did you get your spirit back? That was different. Spirits found their well-deserved peace on Skull Island. But the island disappeared as if the Earth swallowed it up. Skull Island? Hmm. How's that possible? I haven't the foggiest, but we need to be careful. 
power in the underworld is reaching out with claws to the world of the living. And it's no friend of humans for sure. Come on, let's go. Sure. Okay, let's see if we can get to the beach. There we go. Uh, that guy looks like a pirate to me. Finally, somebody called for me. Really? I thought I'd been forgotten. Uh, what do you mean? Nobody sent me. Damn. I was hoping somebody would take care of the two soldiers up there. The vermin from the Inquisition just took my lighthouse. Even the pirates had more honor in their bones. Okay. Uh, maybe I can look into this for you then. I'm looking for a pirate called Patty. Patty? Ah, oh, you're not talking about Steelbeard's daughter, yes, are you? Yes, yes. Exactly. You know her then. She was here a while ago, but didn't stay long. Well, damn it. As far as I know, she sailed to Kila with a gang of pirates. I hope this will help you in your search. Well, I did want to go to Kila anyway to speak with the natives. What can you tell me about Takarigua? Trade was flourishing when Governor Di Fuego still ruled Puerto Sacarico. Now it's occupied by that damned Inquisition. I'd love to know what's going on in Puerto Sacarico. The last news I heard was none too happy. Sounds like they'll lynch any stranger. What do you know about the Inquisition? They used to just sit on their fat asses and leave us <laughs> simple folk in peace. But since these skull caves have appeared, things have gone haywire. Their commandant, Sebastiano, sent out his scouts. But instead of doing their job, they've taken my lighthouse and are lazing about. Alright, so there are skull caves all around, you mean? Interesting. Hmm, I wonder what caused them to rise up. Where is this Puerto Sacarico exactly? North to the west, west of here. Yeah. But be very careful. Dangers are lurking everywhere on Takarigua. Right. So what's the quickest way to Puerto Sacarico? Go inland. Not far from here, you'll find a soldier called Vasco, who has set up camp in the north. His camp is on the direct route to Puerto Sacarico. Thanks. I'm sure I'll find it. But take good care. The jungle is perilous. Yes, jaguars and whatnots. A stranger the Inquisition want to string up? Well, I don't know much about him. He's supposed to be in league with the mages. The soldiers won't be pleased to see that. You should hurry if you want to save his backside. Okay, maybe he's useful of, in some way. Uh, maybe I can use him as a liaison to the mages. I'll have a look around in Puerto Sacarico for you. That's nice of you, lad. We don't get much news out here. Ever thought of breeding homing pigeons? <laughs> homing pigeons? Yes. Ah, oh, forget it. Alright. Didn't pirates used to be on Takarigua? They're all gone. Or dead. Their hideout in the east was utterly destroyed. Really? What happened? Nobody goes there anymore. The shadows control the land now. Right. Uh, you know what, Jack? I'll go to your tower, get rid of those soldiers for you. Oh, right, so those skull caves... Oh, okay, I see one of those over there, if that's what he means. Uh, but why are these skull caves uh, risen from the ground? And What's going on here? Okay, I don't know. I'll have to ask around more. Uh, bad news is I really suck at fighting right now. Yeah, this sword is not doing much for me.
Okay, so I have to make use of bones as much as possible. Try not to take too much damage. I'm not that rich on provisions. The current situation being considered. This tower is an absolute death trap. What do you mean? Looks pretty harmless to me. Don't be fooled. Who knows how many... Hey, you! Report here, on the double! What? Do you really think you can cheat your way through here like that? Wanna try being a bit more polite? Don't you get smart with me, shitbird. Or you'll end up like Jack, the lighthouse keeper. Wow, this guy's got quite the attitude. What do you want from me? That's better. Grab a broom. I want you to clean this pigsty of a tower till it shines like a new pin. If I grab a broom, I'll shove it up your ass. Mark my words. Sweep your own fucking shit up. I don't think you know who you're talking to. Now, will you kindly get down to work? Maybe your father didn't thrash you soundly <laughs> enough. Is that it? Watch your tongue or you'll be in trouble. Yes, I think I'm with bones on this one. Okay, we'll kick this guy's ass, but uh, you know what first? Uh, Bones was warning me about a trap and as crazy as he is, maybe he's got the sense of for these things. A spell scroll. Uh, receive rust. Okay. What is rust? Uh, any lock in seconds. Whoa, that's very useful. Very useful indeed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did I pick a lock pick? I need a lock pick. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I, I have the skill, I just don't have the actual lockpick. Hey, hey, hey. All right. All right, so that's how it's supposed to work. I was wondering what to do with those teleporter stones. Hmm, I didn't find any of these platforms uh, back on the Crab Coast. What do you think of this part of the world? Every tree here stinks of the Inquisition. They conquered the land on some idiotic pretext of wanting to save humanity. They are ignorant and want to destroy us free men. They are narrow-minded, pompous asses. I agree fully. Okay, so can I just teleport here, or...? Oh yeah, I can just teleport here using the map, nice. Okay, that's very useful. Very useful indeed. Uh, let's go take a quick look inside the lighthouse. But not before I kill this rat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, big boy. Okay, I'm not sure what you... Hey, we got another one. A treasure map. Okay, that's very useful. Ancient knowledge. Man, I'm picking up so many different things. Oh, you know what? Uh, this chest looks pretty damn impressive. Can I use my rust? I need a lock pick. I need a lock pick. Nah, maybe. Maybe I can open it easier now, but I still need a lockpick, I'm guessing. Right? Interesting. That's kind of a half measure, I guess. Um, I'm picking up some of these... Uh, Where are they? Voodoo dolls. Not sure if I can actually use them or... Maybe not. Maybe I actually need to know Voodoo to use them. Uh, yeah, that's not very useful. Did some cleaning today and relieved the lighthouse keeper of his possessions. The junk is now neatly hidden in my chest. Unfortunately, the lock is bro broken, so any idiot can open it. No one's ever going to find it though, because it's hidden 
in a cave underneath the lighthouse. You should interpret orders in your favor more often and you'll have it made. Okay, so there is a cave underneath the lighthouse. I should look into that. Hey, civilian, are you lost? I'm just having a look around. You can't just look around here. This is a war zone. What? A war zone? It seems so quiet and peaceful. Really? I look further to the east. I'm telling you, there's all hell loose over there. Yeah, it also kind of seems blocked by mountains, so what are you afraid of? So what are you doing here? Why aren't you in the east? Because Tanner gave Jack the lighthouse keeper a good ass kicking. And? Let him deal with it. <laughs> seriously. You seem to take your orders seriously. Yes. Don't do a job <laughs> that others could do better for you. How many of you soldiers are there on Tacarigua? Most of the unit is in Puerto Sacarico. Some fresh meat and Commandant Sebastiano, but not many are left. But we're well rid of them. Raw recruits just don't have what it takes. Well, you guys don't really have what it takes either. I found your diary. What? You're not permitted to snoop around the tower. Just wait until I tell Tanner. I'll take care of Tanner later. Ha! A braggart like you is gonna wipe the floor with you. You'll see what happens. Really? Let's give this a shot, actually. You know why? Uh, let's get healed a little bit first. He doesn't seem to have any musket on him, so... This other guy has a musket, but not Tanner. Has someone ever given you a proper kicking? You're just asking for it, aren't you? A wimp like you doesn't have it in him. Really? I'm thinking, I might smash your face in. <laughs> you? <laughs> this is gonna be a laugh. Get over here. Rip his head off! Uh, is this solo fighting? Okay. <clears throat> That's it! <sighs> Yeah, this is not going to be easy, is it? Punch him in the nose! Oh shoot, I should have pressed my advantage there. Poke him in the eye! Woo! I'm definitely making progress. Rip his head off! Boy, you are about a thousand years too soon to defeat me. Yes! Oh, what them. the f <sighs> My lord, dude, this guy just two shot me. I didn't have time to do anything there. Wow. Uh, Bones, could you perhaps, you know, give me a hand here? Man, that was very unexpected. Yes, wow, that healing doesn't really do that much, does it, though? You're even more fucking stupid than that wimp Jack. So, have you had enough now? Fuck no. We're gonna go again. Now, I'll show you who's stronger. What? You haven't had enough yet? Fine, you'll see who you're up against. Punch him in the nose! <sighs> Didn't see that coming. Oh my lord, he just watched on me again. Them. Yeah. I think uh, I have to invest a little bit into toughness. I did lose all my gear, so it's uh, really making a difference here. Yeah, that pistol won't really help me that much. Hmm. Okay, should probably equip that even though I don't really have a use for it. Right, let's see. As far as usable items go... Okay, so these things come with the cooldown now. Check you out. Hmm. Okay, one more try. 
Uh, definitely have to be careful this time around. Now I'll show you who's stronger. What? You haven't had enough yet? Fine, you'll see who you're up against. That's it! Oi! Yes! Poke him in the eye! Yeah, I'm starting to punch him in the nose. Uh, yeah. eh, eh, eh. Oh shoot. Okay, so Bones yeah. is healing me a little a little bit. Just not enough, unfortunately. Do something. You know, I'm doing something, I just have to be careful not to let him hit me. Man, I just totally freaking hate it that he can hit me as soon as I roll away. It's very, very crap. Rip his head off! Okay, so if I manage to knock him down, that's a free shot for me. Yes! Punch him in the nose! Rip his head off! Yeah, just put some distance and you go with coward. a heavy attack again. Knock him down. Okay, go back. Heavy attack. Knock him yes. down, please. Heavy attack again. That's it. Come on, one more. One more. Fudge. Come on, come on, I'm super close. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. You bugger. Man. I mean, considering how crappy my gear is and my sword, I'm very, very surprised I managed to pull that off. But, oh, there was a painkiller there, damn it. I wish I found it sooner. My head is pounding. Fuck the fuck off. <laughs> your own medicine often tastes the worse. Oh, spare me your clever talk. From now on, you will do whatever I say. All right? All right, okay. Calm down. Yeah, you're my bitch now. Tanner. You are now going to make the lighthouse spick and span. <laughs> he who's dealing with an injury doesn't have to worry about the insults. Come on, I want to see the dust rise. I knew I should have stayed in bed. Get the work, you pig. Can you teach me something? For the right price? Okay. Undead Bane. You inflict extra damage when combating the undead. That sounds very useful. Teach me how to inflict more damage on undead beings. Of course, no problem. Uh, toughness 20, influence 20. Hmm. Nah, influence is definitely something I'm looking into. Uh, toughness as well. Hmm. Is it worth... Can I actually do this? Oh, hmm. You know what? I'm interested. Can you te for teach me to be more effective at intimidating people? Okay. Oh, so it just keeps going up and up and up. All right. Well, yeah, I'm definitely not uh, proficient enough. What are you doing up here, other than guard duty? Seeing to my retirement. What? That really gets you thinking, doesn't it? Think about it. Yeah, I thought about it. Sounds stupid. I'll figure you out eventually. Enjoy that. 
But just so you know, you have no business loitering about below the lighthouse. <laughs> you wish. Wow, this guy is a dead giveaway. You stole from the lighthouse keeper. <laughs> you think that's true just because you read it in my diary? Without the thing I was supposed to have stolen, you can't prove shit. Okay, I'm not good enough at pickpocketing at the moment, but it's definitely something I'm working on. Uh, let me cook some of this stuff. There we go, that's better. Okay, so how do I find my way into the cave below the lighthouse? Is what I would like to know. Let's look around a little bit. Aw oh, man, it's just like the environment is losing color there in the distance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bones? Help? Man, I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm barely scratching these monkeys. Holy crap. Yeah, you know what, Bones? I really, really, really need to find myself a better weapon. This is a little bit ridiculous. Uh, and considering that I'm not really investing into weapons or melee <sighs> fighting at the moment. Even three sca- Wow! Four scavengers! That's even worse. Ah, oh, man. Just rolling is pointless. Uh, what's the point in rolling, anyway? I mean, if I- if I'm going to roll and take damage anyway, I feel like I might as well just, I don't know, sprint away. Damn, that doesn't work either. Come on, boy. Come on, big boy. Hot damn, son. Uh, Bones, what happened with the other one? Okay, you know what? I think I may be able to handle at least one of them. Fingers crossed. Okay, good job. Good job, Bones. Uh, just give me a second, I've got this. Okay, you seem to be really handling this. I mean, you don't have a problem with taking damage or anything like that. Okay, switch, switch, teamwork. Uh, which one, whichever one you want to get is fine. Just get one of them. Whoa, nice teamwork there. Okay, good. Uh, some more provisions. Very good. Uh, we didn't look this one, did we? Oh, we didn't. Never mind. Okay, let's look around. Uh, maybe we can go back to the... Is that a heavy bag of gold? Wow. Just sitting there. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Looking behind waterfalls pays off, even though it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't the cave or anything. Still pretty juicy. Uh, by the way, how much gold do I have at the moment? Uh, 2,000. Wow, I'm doing pretty damn nice. Okay, so lighthouse is over there. Let's see. I see a cave over here. Bunch of pigs. <laughs> Uh. 
Man, this little piggy didn't stand a chance. Uh, what happened to the other one? I thought you were fighting here. What's up? Oh, sweet! No, 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 no. No, help! Definitely help with this one. Okay, just don't let him get on top of you and you'll be fine. Okay, good. As long as we find one at a time, we'll be fine. No stress. Yeah, I got his attention, bonus. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I was a little bit overzealous. Okay, ju just, just, just help me out a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, big boy. No, 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 no. Uh, just hit him. Finally, I get to use my weapon. How about you use your brain, too? Not just your weapon. Alright. Oh, Hot damn, son. Big boy. You're letting me down there. Alright, so allegedly... Holy macaroni! I don't think so. Dude, what are you doing? Holy shit! Holy... Fudge. Yeah, that is an absolute big no-no. Yeah, Bones, you know, I just used my spirit there. And I have a bad feeling about this game. I think we should let it go for now. Yeah, definitely don't want to overstep my welcome here. <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing it a little bit too far. Definitely with this gear, it's not very good. So let's chill. Let's go talk to Jack a little bit and then see what he has to say about uh, the Inquisition in his tower. Uh, perhaps we can get his help with this game or I don't know. I could take care of you with one hand tied behind my back. <laughs> You're a tough one, aren't you, Jack? About your problem with the soldiers. Oh, so I have to talk with Jack first about driving them away, or...? Any idea how I could drive them away? A few punches would be enough to scare off Tanner. But Holtby... Uh, you'd have to get some incriminating evidence. Just talk to him. Maybe something will arise. Right. What's in it for me if I help you? I don't suppose you'd have use for an old man's trousers. Look at me. I'm penniless. They didn't even leave me a bottle. How about gold? Fine. I'll give you as much as I can spare if you help me. Also, I can sell you some rum when I get my lighthouse back. You know what? Rum sounds great. I'll do it. Good. You'll find them on constant patrol. I'm just too old. And I want to be left alone. Okay, it's all right, Jack. I mean, uh, they're not uh, exactly on my friend list either. Oh, sh <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I should have incriminated evidence against Holby. And I've already bitten Tanner, so... Maybe I can just tell them to fuck off. Okay, I guess I really have to get myself inside that cave, don't I? You're Jack's replacement. Go to the beach. And if I don't want to? I didn't ask for your opinion. To the beach, march. Yeah, yeah. At least I don't have to look at your mug anymore. <laughs> well, same here. 
You know what? It would be great if Jack could give me a lockpick or some such. Or maybe I should go um, to the town here, to the west. Yeah, to the port. It's not that far away e either. This is Vasco's tower, right? I'm pretty damn close actually. You know what? It wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Let's do that now, Bones. If I can find myself a lockpick, I think that would help me big time. Where to Sacarico, right? That's exactly where we're going. As long as we don't stray too far north and face some undead or whatnots, I think we'll be fine. Yep. Yep, it's one of those hounds. Nope, they were pretty tough. Even when I had good gear. <sighs> oh shit, that's a jaguar. Oh no. Now they've got me. What? Oh, you're not actually after me, are you? Um, no. Maybe. <laughs> okay, never mind. Everything's fine. I just thought... Yes? What did you think? Spill your beans. Oh, nothing. Why? Spit it out now. All right. I don't want trouble, okay? I'm a deserter. At first I thought it was a good idea. But now I'm just terrified. Of what? Of Commandant Sebastiano's men, of course. All deserters are shot. And then there are those shadow creatures. So, let me get this straight. You deserted without a plan. Boy, you're an idiot. How far have the shadows penetrated the land? There's a skull cave not far from here. They came out of there and have laid waste to half the island. If we can't find a way to block it, I reckon we'll all die. You're probably right. <laughs> what? Yeah, Bones is like that, don't mind him. Why did you desert? The lads in Puerto Sacarico were losing it. Since the shadows have been here, the orders have become more and more reckless and self-destructive. In the end, we were shooting at our own men to make them stay at their posts. I couldn't be part of it any longer. You won't survive for long in the jungle by yourself. Correct. I'll manage. I don't need anything. Thanks. Well, except maybe my bag. Your bag? What's in your bag? What's in your bag? All the stuff I need to survive. When those shadow monsters attacked, I lost my head. I just kept running and forgot my bag. It's definitely still up there, in the guard tower up the path. Okay, I'll look. I'll keep an eye out for it. I'm heading to Puerto Sacarico. Which way is it? Head towards the west. You'll pass a watchtower. Keep going. Once you see the stockade, you're almost there. Thanks. What's your bag worth to you? You mean, if you bring it back to me? Yes. Okay. In that case, I'll give you a hundred gold. That's not much. Eh. That's very little. I'll fetch your bag for you. Really? Oh, that would be great. But be careful. I think there are still shadows up there. Well, thank fuck for that. Uh, voodoo dolls. I keep finding these. Oh, that's that wasn't a voodoo doll. Parrot flight. Hmm. Okay, so this is the way to the tower, right? We just got uh, go west. Oh, I'm sh going to make it. Yep. Oh, shit, there's more of them, too. Whoa, is that... is that Bones? Holy crap, Vasco? Holy shit, dude. Get off of you, bastard. Oh, son of a gun. 
Yo, Bones, what the hell, man? What happened? You got your ass kicked. That's what happened. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Vasco. I guess you're not that useless after all. Alright, we really have to be careful with these uh, hounds. Holy mackerel. Ah, I mean, yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> no. Okay, I can handle perhaps one of them. Uh, you know what? Whenever they do a heavy attack, either I should light attack to counter it. Or just roll away. Oh, son of a gun, that doesn't do it either. Bones, are you okay? Fudge. Oh, fudge. Really bad. Really, really, really bad. Yeah, I can't handle this. I definitely cannot. Yeah, I'm going to need a lot of help here. I'm not sure if this painkiller is useful right now. But I gotta do something. Thanks, Vasco. It wasn't quite how you imagined, was it? It wasn't quite how I imagined, actually. Uh, Bones, do you think you can give me a little bit of a healing here? Yeah, I'm not doing too green. I'm just going through these provisions like crazy at the moment. Really, really need better gear. Absolutely. I'm going to make a hat out of your skin. Okay, just as long as I don't get myself flanked again. Shadows must have been on a pretty ruthless rampage. I'm amazed they left this tower standing. You know, uh, I did pick up a shadow weapon. Do you think that's going to be any good? No. Yeah, I don't suppose I can use weapons like those. Hey, another teleporter stone. Uh, Vasco's back. That's what I was looking for. Diary of a gunsmith. Okay. Oh, Di Fuego! Here lies Di Fuego. A decomposing Di Fuego. The ex-governor of Takarigua. Murdered. The tip of an Inquisition spear is still sticking out of him. What the fuck happened on this island? Okay, maybe Vasco knows more about this. Uh, treasure map? Okay. You know what? I should really look at that treasure map to see where it leads. No, I don't really want to take a nap, but... Oh, shh! Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck, indeed. Here's my spirit in the underworld. What? What kind of shit is going on here? Soul dust? Who the fuck is... Men Mendoza? Oh, I knew it. Now he's going to talk my ears off. 
Really? What the fuck is going on here? Now don't tell me. You're surprised. <laughs> fuck yeah, I'm surprised. Wait a moment. It's always the same with Greenhorns. First total disorientation, followed by utter denial. Finally, they reach desperation and madness. But rest assured, once total indifference settles in for all eternity, you won't notice much anymore. Okay. Where are we? You don't really want to know that, believe me. Too many questions would only drive you further along the path to madness. Something tells me I should probably take his advice on that. Um, no. I should definitely go with ignorance on this one. Last time I tried to use logic with bones, I lost a piece of my soul, so... What am I doing here? I don't belong here at all. That's what they all say at first. You're starting to bore me. Find someone else to bombard with your inane questions. I need to be elsewhere. Stop. Wait. Well, you're a pretty one. What a nightmare. Fuck. I need help. Bones is still my doctor. Maybe he'll have something for me. Yeah, I wouldn't really call him a doctor, but yeah. I have nightmares. Listen, I'm your doctor, <laughs> not your shrink. What sort of it doctor felt are you? so real. I was an empty shell, walking through a bleak wilderness with no idea where to go. Ah, that's what you're talking about. Well, you'll have to get used to it. It felt as if time had stood still. I was suffocating. You no longer have a spirit, and you turn more and more into a minion of the underworld. Have you already forgotten? You're my doctor. You must help me. All right. Let me think. I remember vaguely how it was when my spirit dwelled in the underworld. I wandered around the southern sea seeking help just as you are now. But I only found it with the native shamans. They gave me some relief. Okay, to the island of Kilwa we go then. Some relief? But they didn't solve your problem. Not exactly, but they did help me cope with it better. For a while. I think I can help you, but I advise you talk to an expert first. Then find a shaman who knows about voodoo. He'll tell us how we can alleviate the symptoms of your spiritlessness. As far as possible, try to avoid anything that makes you demonic. Such as? So, what would make me more demonic? The more evil your deeds, the more you will become a demon. Avoid mistreating others if you wish to retain your humanity. Um, so you mean like kicking Tatter's butt? That didn't really make me more demonic. I don't want to harm people. I want to fight for them. That will help to preserve your humanity. Everything you do from this moment on will have consequences. The closer your soul gets to the shadows, the more the minions will reach for you. Why? A demonic soul is strong. There is little that can stop it. You can also turn other demonic souls into powerful allies. On the other hand, no human will help you once you have fully succumbed to evil. I see. Whatever your decision may be, I will always remain at your side, my friend. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to stay on the light side. I had a dream about a man called Mendoza. What? You don't mean Mendoza the Inquisitor? Yes, I do. You know him. Who doesn't know him? 
A real Inquisition bastard, I can tell you. And anyone who didn't obey his orders was very quickly removed. They say he raided along with the pirates. Really? That sounds interesting. You wouldn't want to encounter a man like that, believe me. He's supposed to have hundreds on his conscience. Maybe. But one thing still puzzles me. Why should a highly decorated Inquisitor make a pact with the pirates? No idea, but he's long dead now. It's funny that you're talking about him. I thought I saw one of Mendoza's ships recently west of Tyrannis. It's probably just a coincidence. Well, let's keep that in mind and look into it, perhaps later. Any other suggestions apart from a shaman? The shaman used a black heart to treat me. It helped cleanse my poison blood. A black heart? Black heart? Black hearts have certain healing properties. They strengthen our blood, especially when it's without spirit. But I've no idea how it works exactly. Uh, I'm not a shaman. And what exactly are these black hearts? They are the hearts of demons, the place from which they draw their power. You find them beating in the chest of a Shadow Lord or an Underworld Minion. If you want one, you just need to cut it out. You want me to gather the black heart of a minion? Mm, come to think of it, forget about the minions. I'm afraid your case is serious. Only a Shadow Lord heart will help you. Uh, perhaps I need some sort of tool to do that, right? I found some sort of soul dust. Hmm, no idea what it is. But I'm sure you'll eventually come across someone who can explain it for you. You should probably hang on to it until then. Yes, the voodoo natives, I know. I don't even know why I'm asking you, Bones. So I'm supposed to cut out the heart of a Shadow Lord, right? The fuck are you talking about? Just how am I supposed to do that? No idea, but I'll let you know when I know. <laughs> right. Uh, maybe I should keep an eye out for a ritual knife or some such. Okay, I was hoping that uh, if I go into my spirit form, maybe I can talk to the Fuego, but... Yeah, that's not how it works. And also this uh, little hole here kind of looks like a place for monkeys. I don't suppose I can just pick one up and train it. No, definitely not. Um, is it nighttime or something? Definitely. Okay, there are more hellhounds on that side. So what happens if I just go and try and sleep again? I kind of didn't want to go to sleep in the first place. Okay, so no more spirit world this time around. Interesting. Yeah, let's stay away from that as much as possible. In fact, you know what? Let's avoid combat altogether as much as possible. Surely I'll, I'll find some vendor here in Puerto Sacarico. Aw, oh, come on. I took full damage from that? <coughs> okay, these guys are really barricaded up there. This place is gloomy, isn't it? Perfect for someone like me. <laughs> wow. Hey, nice monkey. Man, there are places just about everywhere. I think everywhere I, I find a monkey, there's also like a little hole there. Uh, you know what? Let's look behind it if possible. Behind this little house here. Or tower or whatnot. Oh, but it's not possible. Hmm. 
You know what, Bounce? Uh, let's make it a priority for me to find somebody who could train me. Uh, to take control of monkeys. Alright, I definitely don't want to go any further here. Let me just pick up this plant and I want to have a look around. Uh, well, not a look around, just a look off this uh, mountain here. Okay, that looks like some sort of firebird. Uh, maybe there's somebody down there. I'm not really in the shadow zone, am I? Well, I kind of am actually. Damn, that's not looking very good. What do you think, Bones? Can we make our, our way down there? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe a little bit later, not now. First, let's look for some supplies. I do have some gold I'm looking to spend. Excuse me. Okay, so there's nothing to be had around here. <laughs> Calm down, big boy. Okay, just give me one second here. I need a lock pick. Hot damn. This is driving me crazy. I'm probably not skilled enough anyway, but uh, at least I want to know how difficult they are. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, does this guy mind? Oi, yep. Who invited you? Yep. Uh, your commandant. Just dropped in, did ya? Well, I guess I don't really know how to sneak at the moment, do I? Hold on. Just give me a second. I need to look at something. Okay, so you know what? Let's look for a thievery instructor. Yeah, I'm probably in the, in the wrong place for that though. I don't think these Inquisition boys are into thievery and whatnot. They're a bunch of stickler for rules. Hello, Oi. soldier. You're from outside, aren't you? What's the situation there? Grim. One word. Bleak. Holy shit. It's very well guarded here. Guarded? Surely you mean monitored. Listen, I've been trying to get out of here for days. You too? Yeah, anyone who tries to leave without permission is killed. Okay, who is in charge here? I guess you've had better days. You can say that again. This island is a powder keg. On the one side, you've got Sebastiano. Oh, him. And on yeah. the other, those shadow beasts. And both are dangerous when unchecked. Okay, I need to have a word with Sebastiano. See what the situation is really about here. What about Sebastiano? He's usually a very responsible man. He's in charge of the military drills in Puerto Sacarico. But he's gone totally batshit insane. Right. Yeah, that skull cave really changed him. I understand. You talk as if he went inside of it or something. What do you know about the shadow creatures? Not much. Only that they kill anything that crosses their path. And that they come out of a dark hole somewhere inland. Damned shadows! This was once a beautiful place full of life, and now this! We'll all be dead before too long anyway. Unless something happens soon. I can't bear to think about it. Well, I suppose we can happen to it, but um, not before I get some gear or some such. You mentioned something about permission. A redeployment order. Sebastiano could still have one in his office. Not for me, but for a soldier that kicked it while advancing into the dark cave. Right. What would you give me if I got you the letter? G give you? Well, everything I own. Good answer. Okay. I'll get you the redeployment order. Really? Cheers, but, but be careful. 
Don't get caught. What can I learn from you? What would you like to know? Uh, muskets, I'm really not that much into ranged weapons, but um, I'm thinking maybe I should be. Show me how to distill liquor. Got it. Okay, that was simple. Hmm. What do you sell? Weapons, please. Archer's ring. Interesting. Uh, I did pick up a musket or something previously. You know what? Maybe I should give archery. Uh, not archery. Uh, muskets a shot. Range combat. Although I'm a little bit more comfortable with melee. And these melee weapons aren't that great either. No sir. What do you? Uh, just one thing. Can I sell something? Oh yeah, I do have a musket. Yeah, it does more damage than my sword or fencing foil. Don't think I'm very proficient with it, however. Hmm. What do you s uh, Oh, okay, I see what happened. I understand. Yeah, I'm going to sell a couple of more of these old swords and shadow weapons. I'm not sure if I need these, but at the moment they're, they're worth something. Uh, Valvo caskets, sure. Skull mugs, golden bowls. Goblets, definitely. Scepters, masks. Uh, ancient knowledge. It looks very old and holds many secrets just waiting to be ciphered. Yeah, I think I'll hang on to that for the moment. Uh, shovels, I probably only need one of them. Forks, not so sure if I actually need them. Um, yeah, let's sell this stuff. Uh, tankards? No, sell that. All right. Um, I don't have a recipe. I don't have a recipe, but I did learn about. Uh, I did learn the skill, so that's useful. Hey, a teleporting pad. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay, that's going to allow me to get here a lot easier. Hey, what are you doing here? Get out of my kitchen. My potatoes will burn if you keep distracting me. Oh, oh too late. So, what did you want? You can't even cook potatoes, man. You're useless. You're a cook, psh. More like a trainee. You're a cook? No, fuck that. I'm a soldier. Then what are you doing in the kitchen? Someone has to make sure that the fine, fancy gentlemen get their food and drink. I had no choice in the matter. I just hope nobody complains about the taste of my food. <laughs> I've been using everything I can find to stretch this stodge out so there's enough for everyone. No idea how Osorio used to manage. Where did you hide the good stuff? The... the good stuff? I bet you don't eat the stuff you serve to others. Hmm. Fine. Here. Now keep quiet. Alright, very nice. Damn, I knew intimidation was going to come in handy. People don't like your food. Well, they haven't said so outright, but if even I don't like it... I'm a soldier for fuck's sake. I should be shooting people, not cooking. Let me get back to work. I have to heat up Rockfall's wine for him. Hot wine? May as well drink seawater. It's more fun. I know, but he likes it that way, and I need to keep him happy. 
Why is that actually? Hmm. What can you teach me? Depends on what you want to know. Okay. Um. Okay, becoming tougher. That's useful. Uh, eat raw meat? Eh, I'm not so sure if I really need to, but... Uh, you know what? Let's uh, hold back on this for the moment. Prolongs the effects of a painkiller. I only have one of them, so... Yeah, maybe I can use my gold in a better way. Like, for instance, to purchase a weapon. You know what? I'm getting the idea of actually stealing that ship. <laughs> yeah. Bones, what do you think? I don't think I have enough of a crew yet, though. Yeah, I'm not so happy about taking your skiff across the, the seas. Oh, skiff. son of a gun. Damn Jaguars, we gotta be careful with these ones. Come on, big boy. There we go. What a waste of time, sacrificial meat. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of a waste, to be honest. Man, this Jaguar is looking pretty damn nice. Uh, too bad I don't know anything about skinning them. Yeah, that's a shame. I may I shouldn't have killed them. Halt! Commandant Sebastiano does not wish to be disturbed. Tell him it's important. Let me speak to Sebastiano. I told you, the Commandant doesn't want to be disturbed. Don't give me a hard time. We've got enough problems as it is. But it's important. You think so? And what's so important that I should let you pass? That's between me and him. Maybe. But you're gonna tell me first. So what is it? Uh, yeah. De Fuego's corpse. I found Governor De Fuego's corpse. The governor's dead? Yes. What do you know about him? He and Sebastiano had an argument. If you need to know more, talk to the guards. Fine, you can go in. But be careful, the Commandant's in one of his moods. So don't pick a fight with him. Yeah, yeah. I don't really give a fuck. Do you think this guy would mind if I take some of the stuff around here? Yes, I Don't think he would. Don't you dare pocket anything! Eh. Alright, so every time there is like a monkey place to sneak through, there is a, an actual monkey there. Hmm. What? Yes. You! You, me. You work with the pirates, don't you? Yes, I do. Listen. Don't even try. You are one of them. And? What do you want? Are you trying to spy on us? If I were, you wouldn't have spotted me. Just relax, would you? Is that how you talk to a commandant of the Inquisition? Someone like you would never have made it into our ranks. I wonder why. Enough. I'm already surrounded by enemies. I don't need another one. And if even my own people are turning against me, who can I trust now? <laughs> ah, trust issues. Arrogant. Fat and annoying. How can I help? If you're here to fight, you'll be paid as befits a mercenary. What do you want to pay me for? Severin the soldier has deserted. Me and that other one, 
Vasco. And? And deserters will be shot. You should find them both and get rid of them. Yeah, I don't think so. You got anything else? A guardian called Horus has snuck in among us. Find that bastard and tell me where he is so we can execute him. Why are you so keen on killing him? He's a thief. He came into my house and stole from me. Really? Then he vanished. But just you wait till I'm done with you. You wish you were... Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> just find him. Yes, if I find him, trust me, I will definitely not shoot him. So, you're the governor of this island? No, usually Governor de Fuego is in charge here. But the coward simply bolted. I see. Don't waste your time with that fellow. He's not worth it. I have taken over command. And that's all you need to know. Got it? Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. He's dead, by the way. There's one more thing. I found Governor de Fuego. And? Where is that fat... The governor. He's dead. Hmm. He's not the first to be taken by the shadows. I don't think it was the shadows. What makes you say that? The tip of a sword was still stuck in his body. So? A sword is a sword. You're just wasting your time. Alright. I'm definitely not looking forward to working for you. I would like to get this redeployment order, but um, I think you're giving me the stink eye at the moment. So I need to distract this... Uh, Rockford this year as well. Isn't that something something? Um... Hey! Hey! Look at this little fellow. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, I need to learn more about thievery. That's what I need to do. And maybe come back here during the night time. I mean, these guys have to go to sleep too, right? I wonder. Right, so I'm looking for a fellow called Horus. Um... Uh, my guess is he's somewhere along the beach or in some cave held up somewhere. We'll have a look around. I'm definitely looking for somebody who can teach me a thing or two about theory. Or maybe sell me a lockpick. Do you know anything about Di Fuego? He vanished during the night. I'll go and talk to the night watchman. Right. Okay, so I guess we'll be investigating the Fuego's murder as well. Well, I have to say, I'm not very impressed with the Inquisition. Uh, between Sebastiano's paranoia and him trying to shoot everybody, and all these uh, nasty minions and shadow creatures and whatnots, which are pretty damn dangerous from what I've seen so far, it's not looking very good. I couldn't find Patty either. Which is a damn shame. I have to go to the island of Kilwa to look for her. And I still haven't really gotten any better equipment. Because I really suck. So right now bones are pretty much in a pinch. I would say let's look for Horus to, to know something about pickpocketing. And lockpicking. And maybe that way I'll find some better gear. If not, I'm really screwed. And also... Maybe we can steal this uh, big ship over here. What do you think? Hmm. It's looking very fancy. You know what, Bones? Uh, you keep watch. I'll go have a look over there. If you don't mind. <laughs>